Welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Fun Astrology Podcast. Let's get her cranked up and going here. Thomas Miller, thanks for joining us. Tuesday, September 20th. Did you catch any of the uh, pageantry of the Queen's funeral service yesterday? Wow. While I was still working on my project that won't end, I did have it on. And I was thinking as I was watching that, you know, there was just nothing like the British monarchy pageantry. Nothing in the world. And when they took the crown and the scepter off of the coffin and put it back up on the altar, oy. And I was thinking, too, that it just has felt, and so many people have said this, that it just feels like an end of an era, closing the last chapter of a book, and you don't know what the sequel to part one is going to be. But it does look like there are going to be changes. We'll talk about now King Charles' chart and also Prince William. We'll let things settle down for a few more days. Maybe we'll take that up later. But There are some interesting things that already are in the headlines. In fact, they were in the headlines as Queen Elizabeth's coffin was even lying in state. Here come the headlines, and yeah, it corresponds with the astrology. Tomorrow, by the way, got a great listener question on Vedic astrology. We're going to take that up tomorrow. We have an easier day. Today, we're talking about the Venus trine Uranus. It's already happened. It was exact at 1244 this morning, Eastern Time. If you've seen a chart on this, it is an interesting aspect because it happened at 18 degrees, 38 minutes. Uranus is in Taurus. Venus is in Virgo. This is an Earth trine. But look at who else is in the neighborhood. So over in Uranus's block, the North Node is still within just four degrees. So it's part of this, too. And then Venus is moving through Virgo quickly. So it's eight degrees away from the sun, and then Mercury is just across the line in Libra, moving back toward Virgo, and of course in retrograde, and Uranus is in retrograde. And you don't have to go far to hear people talk about how they've been feeling this anxiety, this anxiousness, this off-centeredness. Well, the North Node is in this conversation, so we're talking about looking at ourselves in our deepest level. Where's the moon? Well, it's in Cancer just punches that point, right? We're talking about our emotions, our soul, our going inside, our intuition. And the moon goes void, of course, today at five minutes till noon Eastern time. So the moon, in essence, pulls back from the party. This is saying that the emotions that come up through the day today are those to be dealt with on your own, individually, man to man, if you will. Rubber meets the road kind of thing. The beginning, when I mentioned the end of the era, It's like this is saying, what other end of eras are there in our souls that we need to go ahead and put to rest? That's a Virgoan kind of activity. And if it's kind of out of nowhere, certainly a Uranus kind of activity as well. And as I'm looking at this, Mercury and Jupiter are opposite each other, both in retrograde. Throw this log on the fire, too, that Mercury and Venus are what's called mutual reception in astrology. That means that, see, Mercury is in Libra, which is ruled by Venus. Venus is in Virgo, which is Mercury's house. It's like they're switched. It means that they're in each other's home signs. So that Jupiter across from there just means that this, this stretching energy is magnified. And we emphasized Neptune and the sun yesterday and Friday. That's still there. And there's one more. Mars in Gemini, a very significant planet in the influence in the world right now, is moving into a trine with Saturn. So all the division that we've been feeling is going to get heavier. So this is a really significant aspect today. And the one coming up, as we mentioned, on Saturday morning early, early, when Venus opposes Neptune. So see that we just kind of really laid all of that out. Venus just moves on up there and gets in position and pow, fires off that opposition to Neptune. But that's why I wanted to stretch this out and expand what's going on here. And in a way, the sky is asking us to square up with what we really love and to shed, purge, get rid of what we don't. I think of our wonderful friends in the Caribbean, in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic and the track of the storm, the hurricane there, whose lives are being directly affected by that, who don't even have time to think about what they love or what they don't because they're trying to survive. So our thoughts and prayers go out to them as well in this energy. 
What's the answer here? Well, it's to hold things loosely. It truly is to hold on to everything loosely right now. And if the universe invites you to get rid of something, don't resist. That's the best medicine. We will take up Vedic astrology. What is in the world happens when your sun sign changes to the one before it? <laughs> Mine goes from Scorpio to Libra. And if you knew me, oh, yeah, uh-huh. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Have a great day.